Hello, Bitcoin Universe. How are you guys doing out there today? I hope you're doing well. It's the Bitcoin Miner here, and I want to talk to you guys about something really cool I had figured out. As you may or may not know, I recently built a new computer. Um, you can go back and look at my other videos and see what I built exactly. So, I'm playing around and digging around online. I don't know if you've also noticed, I, I also rent um, hashing power from NiceHash. I've been doing so for a while, and uh, as you just saw recently, I started posting videos about how I got into a GPU mining, and because I really sparked my interest with Ether and some of the other coins that are out there, and I was like, well, I might as well look into building a rig, maybe two rigs. Now, during this whole process, I had learned and figured out that I could actually mine bitcoins with my gaming computer that I just built and it's not even anything super crazy you can see it right here on my screen all it is is a GeForce 980 Ti and the uh, Intel processor it's like, it's like probably two generations old at this point it is the 6 core though and I am mining bitcoins right now as we speak I'm getting two dollars a day which is a little low it's usually closer to 250 or so um, maybe even uh, three dollars a day. It depends if you're running your GPUs or just the graphics cards. On a regular basis, I'll you probably just run the graphics card and not the GPUs. But I'm using this to give you guys an example. And this can you know even get up as four as high as four dollars uh, per day. So it's going to fluctuate. And this is just a rough estimate. So what this is going to do? Uh, remember, I said that you're going to be mining bitcoins. So. What this actually is, what NiceHash is doing is it's taking your processing power and renting it to other people and giving you Bitcoin in exchange for it. So it's a backdoor way to mine Bitcoins without actually having to buy all of the big equipment, you know, invest thousands of dollars in it. Everybody has a computer at the house. As long as you've got a decent graphics card, this will work for you. Um, if you have a gaming computer, it will make you that much more. Uh, th you know, this price right here, two dollars a day. As you see, it's still fluctuating. Dollar uh, seventy-seven a day. It probably will average closer to two dollars a day. Will uh, was actually about per graphics card. The using the CPU doesn't make me hardly anything. It's nineteen cents. To be honest with you, it's really not worth the wear and tear on the CPU for what it does. Sometimes there are certain ones where they pay you very heavily. You can get paid several, like maybe $5, $4 per day. It just depends what coin is uh, going. Um, so you kind of have to watch it. But for the most part, I leave that one off. I'll just have it on for the demo for now. But if you have two graphics cards, you can make twice this. Three graphics cards, triple this. Four graphics cards, triple this. So you can see where I'm going with this. And you can do this with the hardware you have right now. Just think about it. You graphics card can pay for itself in about a hundred days. Buy the nicer graphics card. Run this when you're not using the computer. Run it when you're sleeping or whatever, and you get your money back. And the cool thing is, is you're getting it in Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up and how to do it. I'm really excited to show you. So first thing is first, we're going to have to go to their website, which is going to be. Oops. Sorry. Here we go. Nice hash. Uh, it's nicehash.com. Once you get to their homepage, which is right here, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click Sell Hashing Power. And then you're going to click your GPU miner. Go ahead and download it. I've taken the liberty of downloading it for us. So I've got it right here downloaded. It's going to be a zip file. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and my, uh, I'm doing the recording and all of this. I'm hoping it's not lagging it out too bad. So let me go ahead and stop this. Turn off the CPU and let it just run the graphics card because that doesn't seem to lag out the computer. All right, so now we've just downloaded this file. You're going to want to double click this application, or actually, it's really going to be zipped depending if you're on Windows 7 or 10. If you're on 7, it's going to show that it's zipped. You're going to have to right click it and then zip, unzip it. I've already gone through the liberty of unzipping this as well. So we'll go ahead and close this out. I will move over a zipped one. 
unzipped one. All right. So this is what it looks like unzipped. You're going to have to go ahead and install the software uh, and just basically double click on a Oh, excuse me. Well, this should be the startup. I believe, so I think it's since I already have it installed, you just double click on this one, guys. Uh, the nice hash miner, I have to double check that. But once you actually have it installed, uh, you'll just right click this, create a shortcut, take your shortcut and drag it out to your page like I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I don't need it. And once you have that, we'll go ahead and stop this, close this. You have the shortcut here. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And hopefully you guys find it like an install or setup button there um, that, you know, that will work for what we'll do the initial setup. Let's see. Okay, again, I have this thing on auto run. So, when you guys have first open this, you're going to have to put your Bitcoin address here. So, go ahead, copy and paste your Bitcoin address. I strongly suggest you copy and paste. Much easier than trying to type it out. Um, so, copy and paste your Bitcoin address here. Select the closest server to you, which is right here. You're going to need to run a benchmark. Go ahead and select the benchmark. So, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I would just run the standard and go ahead and run it. What this is going to do is it's going to test your system and see what it's capable of doing. Okay, so is it can it mine a NeoScript and make you more profit, or can it mine uh, any one of these? Which one is your particular system best at mining? Which one's going to give you the most profit? So that's what this is going to test. And once it's done testing it, it'll tell you. And when that's complete. You just go ahead and click start. It's that simple, guys. You don't need to do anything else. Now, there are some settings and tweaks that you can do. So we're going to go ahead and click settings. Um, as I showed you earlier, I have mine on auto mine, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can hide the mining window automatically. Let's see. There's a couple in here I thought was pretty. Here we go. Start mining when idle, which is awesome. So if this is your main computer, and you game or whatever, and then let's say you walk away, you go to work or whatever, and the computer goes idle, it just will automatically start up. You come back, you can stop it. So that's a great feature right there. I do like that one as well. Uh, minimizing tray is awesome. And then the auto start mining, which is great too, once you start it up. And then you can also select that. Once we go in here, again, I just started playing with this. I've used it some on this computer. I don't know all of these settings. To be straight up with you guys, but I do the basics. Um, I really don't know how to play with any of this because I haven't used the CPU very much other than basic testing. Uh, but I do really know that you can say you want to make a minimum of $2 per day or you only want your computer to do it when it's really high, like $3 per day. So put $3 in there and then it will automatically start up or stop when it doesn't reach that point. And you can do that for each version of the script here. And then here. Again, to be quite honest with you, I have not played with any of these other settings yet. I, I just leave it alone um, so far. And it's everything's worked fine. I've been running this for a week straight now, testing it just fine on my own computer. Uh, I've been using it. So I wanted to show you guys. Let's go ahead and close this. Close without savings. Yes. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and click start. All right, guys, again, this is a really easy way for everybody at home, well, maybe not everybody, but everybody who's, you know, got a decent computer, gamers, and just be able to buy Bitcoins. I mean, you can make a couple dollars a day. It does cost you power, depending on the power supply that you guys have. You know, what's the efficiency of it uh, is going to be one rating. You know, if it's a low efficiency, it may not be worth it. Uh, I've looked at a few calculators I think oh yeah I can pull up a calculator for you guys and we can take a look at that as well uh, so we're back up to 214 and this is just using the graphics card not even using the core so you can tell it fluctuates depending on what it's mining 
Let's bring up the calculator, but if I remember correctly, power for this is about 35 cents, but we'll find out closer. So you're still going to net about $1.75 um, per day just for your computer. Uh, you have to pay a little more power. If you guys are you know have free power, then this is even better. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get to... Where is it? Okay, let's see. Okay. Profitability calculator. So let's go to what I have in this computer right now, which is a 980 Ti. Okay, here we go. Calculate. So. I'm kind of using their basic setups, cost, sure, power consumption, okay, USD, I pay a little bit less than 10 cents, so, but 10 cents is probably the national average, so we'll leave it at that. Um, the main thing is going to be, this is how it's going to mine, you know, a little bit of NeoScript, so it's got three primary ones it's going to do, uh, it's going to be on average $2.45 a day. This one card is $2.45 a day is what it's going to make net. It's going to cost me $0.65 cents a day. I'm sorry about the prior statement on power. So it's actually going to net me the $1.80. Now, you guys have to remember, this is also the older uh, technology chip. It is not near as power efficient as the newer cards. The newer cards are twice as almost the power efficient as this card. So the power cost is going to be a lot different depending on what you have. But still, a $1.80 net is uh, great. So I figure I'd run it for a little bit. I paid for my graphics card. I recoup a little bit out of it. And I get some Bitcoin in my wallet and get to play and dabble and check it out. Um, so let's go up here and show you what a new card might look like. Um, although AMD cards are actually better and they're even cheaper, so let's just show you what the new AMD cards will do. Here we go. And calculate. See, look, the power cost is half. Oh, but the, the production rate is not as well either. Huh, the cards are a lot cheaper. Let's go compare it next to an AMD card. Interesting. Or excuse me, an uh, NVIDIA card. So an NVIDIA card, let's go with the new 1080 Founders Edition. Calculate. What is that, about a $500, $600 card? Okay, so see the power consumption is about half. Mine was about $0.60, cents, where it went down to $0.36. Cents. And it does produce more per day because it's more powerful. And you're getting $2.56 per day. Now, the AMD card, the earlier one I just showed you, I think it was a $230 card. So, for a $230 card, that's not bad. Let's see what it says for our ROI. Okay, so you get your money back in 367 days. Ooh, that's really expensive for that card. I don't think it's quite that expensive. I think it's like $550, is not it? Oh, it won't let me out yet. Okay. Well, anyways, that's way too expensive for that card. So it, it's half that. It's more like 150 days, which is awesome. Let's see. Let's go back to the AMD card, and we'll wrap this up. Here we go. Two seventy. Okay. I still, I still think it's cheaper than two seventy, but okay. Let's see, two hundred days. Still, not bad. In 200 days, you get a free graphics card. You get to do what you want with it. All right, let's just compare this com towards an Ace, something around the same price. The S9s are just too expensive. Uh, I, I must have passed it. There it is. So the S9s are just too expensive. We all know you make, what, about $10 a day? We'll go back to that. Let's go to the S7. S7's about, yeah, $500, $400. I think you can get them used a little bit cheaper. So it's incredible. My home computer is making me more money than my Antminer S7 right now. I, 
It, this is just absolutely insane. This is so cool. I'm so glad I had this. I'm, just, I'm trying to share it with you guys, and I hope you're on board with it. But it makes me $3 a day. It costs me $3.10 a day. I'm losing money on my Miner S7. I hope the price of Bitcoin goes up soon. I'm sure it will. So I am still running my miners off and on. Um, it's been hot in North Carolina, so I've been turning them off during the day. Uh, so I'm not running up my power bill too bad. So let's see. Let's go ahead and switch this down to the S9s and see what those are. Come down in price. There's, well, what did it say? Well, yeah, depending where you guess, about right. Wow, an S9 for two thousand dollars makes me five dollars a day and fifty cents. Incredible. So you could build yourself a computer. Yeah, it could probably cost you two thousand dollars, depending on how and what you put in it. But it could easily cost you fifteen hundred too. But you know, it's pretty neat. All right, guys. I hope this gave you a good demo of what this can do. Um. Making two dollars twenty-seven cents right now, just one graphics card, nine eighty-two, you know, and I'm paying about sixty cents in power. So, yeah, I'm making about a dollar seventy. Um, and again, it fluctuates a little bit. Straight with my new computer I just built. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'm glad I was able to bring it to you. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you don't, you know, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. What, what can I do? I'll try to do better next time. But, I, you know, I thought this was a really cool thing to show you guys how to get Bitcoins mining with your regular computer. You know, we all thought it was gone. So here's a backdoor way to do it. And hope you enjoy this trick. See you guys later in the next video. Talk to you later on, guys. See you. Bye. Oops. Don't worry.